All right, the YouTube is live. That's epic. I wonder if I can see who's watching. Oh, I can. All right, it's awesome. Yay, this is cool and exciting. All right, let me start the Facebook. Hello, one person is watching. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm live on Facebook here, so sorry for the one person that's watching on YouTube. I'm just getting started here. Um, all right, let me make sure this is live correctly on Facebook. And then I'm going to play some fiddle and sing some songs. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, one person's watching. Okay, I think it's working. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play some tunes now. Oh, Mom, you're watching on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to play some tunes and sing some songs and talk about my album and stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who's watching. I've got a few people joining us. Um, see, Dempsey's watching. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be sitting here for like an hour or so and playing some tunes and, and songs and everything. And if, of course, also, if anyone has any like requests, I would love them. I would love to play requests as long as I know them. Let's see. All right. All right. So I think I'm going to sing one now. Let me. So this is a crazy setup I've got going on here because I have Facebook going here on my phone and then I have YouTube live um, on my computer. So I'm trying to, I don't know, keep it all going at the same time. 
But okay, so now I'm going to sing a song, I think. This is one off of my album that I just released last month. Um, so this one is Bury Me Beneath the Willow. <laughs> to everyone who's tuning in that last one was on my album uh walking after midnight which i released last month and now i'm gonna sing you another one i'm gonna pull up my lyrics here i'm gonna sing you another one that i it i didn't record but maybe i will in the future this is a song i play in a different arrangement uh with my band uh ghost sugar and yeah but it's a song i really like it's a really beautiful song um yeah this is called i've endured it's a tim o'brien song i think okay um Born in the mountains many years ago 
snow, and he sails in valleys through the rain and snow. I've seen the lightning flash and I've heard the thunder roll. I've endured, I've endured, through a long last world. See what, what's up next. I've got I even got a set list today, so everyone should be very proud <laughs> that I came prepared to this live stream. All right. So I'm thinking of doing another one, another kind of new one that I didn't really I didn't record. Very very little amount of practice went into this, but this is a new one. Not a new song, but like new song to me, maybe. Um, let's see. All right, this is Hey Good Looking. Um, Thank 
maybe we could find us a brand new recipe. Got to know my date, look over the fence. Find me a new one for five or ten cents. Keep it till it's covered with hate. Cause I'm writing your name down on every page. Hey, good looking. What you got to cook in? Possible cooking something up with me. That's a fun little tune. Let's see. All right, I think I'll slow things down now. This is another song I do with um, with my band, with Ghost Sugar. And yeah, I don't do it that much by myself, but I thought it would be kind of fun to, to figure out how it might go. Um, and if anyone is wanting to waltz, this is your opportunity. Especially if you have a someone to dance with, or not, you know, you don't need someone to dance with. This is the Tennessee Waltz. see oh Dempsey asked when is our next show I guess the next ghost sugar show so the next show with my band is going to be on Friday this coming Friday which I believe is the 18th um, of September and it's going to be at the filler up in Parkton and um, yeah I think we're playing from 5 to 8 so you can check that out on the ghost sugar um, Facebook page and you can find all the information there. So thanks for asking. And let's see. Uh, and you said, <laughs> um, Rikasha on YouTube says, sweet when the Dust Settles do a solo tour. Absolutely. That's, that's my plan. That was my original plan. So 
whenever I can do a solo tour, I will be there. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so the next one I was hoping to do is the title track from my new album, which I released in August, and I'll show you also. I got these physical copies of my album, um, and you can, now oh, there's kind of a glare, but yeah, there you go. And they're for sale. You can get them from my website, which I think I put in the description, um, both of these live feeds, and yeah. They're, I think they're, well, they're only $10. So if you like what you hear, it's basically just that. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Friday at the filler up, 5 to 8 p.m. Okay. Anyway, here is Walking After Midnight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that was um, Billy in the Low Ground there. Anyway, also, if anyone has like has a request or something, please let me know. I'd love to play it, fiddle tune or song or whatever. I'm probably more likely to know a fiddle tune than a song, but anything you want to hear, just shout it out. Let's see. So, all right, I think I think next I'll do a. Uh, one of the instrumentals off of my album. This is um, another waltz, another three, four tune. So anyone that wants to waltz out there, I'll just imagine you waltzing. This is um, uh, Midnight on the Water. <laughs> chose that to be on my album because it goes along with the midnight theme and very interesting um cool i see that dad is watching from upstairs thank you for joining us <laughs> all right uh i was considering playing mandolin on, on a tune i was thinking of going for the shock factor and now for something completely different so just stick with me here you might enjoy it. Um, I also just changed the strings on my mandolin. So I can't promise that it's in tune, but there's a chance. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of in tune. So basically, kind of unrelated to music, I, um, in the beginning of this year, the end of last year, I started learning Spanish. And one of the really exciting things that I get to do with that is learn songs in Spanish. So this is a song that I, um, that one of my friends from Argentina, from the band Chabalache, um, uh, like 
<laughs> okay, okay. Oh, he has dinner for me. Well, I'll get to have dinner later. Okay, wait, where was I? Ah, Che Apalache. So, yeah, my friend Martin showed me this song. And... Okay, and wow, everybody in my house is, is telling me the dinner's ready from different ways. Marissa, why don't you come here? Come here. Show, say hi. Hi. So ev there's uh, four people watching on YouTube and there's four people watching on Facebook. And, and come eat dinner. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in about 30 minutes, okay. Oh, oh, no. All right, and mm -hmm. I'm going to play a song that my friend Martin showed me. Okay. Uh, this is from a rock band, an Argentinian rock band. So just imagine like that I'm playing an electric guitar and there's like also drums and like, you know, rock instruments being played. But it's just such a cool song and it's in Spanish too. It's called La Vida and it's basically about how um, life is hard, but like you have to live anyway, so. Yeah, and I hope I don't forget all the lyrics. Here we go. La Vida. So, anyway, enough of that fun. Now back to some music that I know, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink of water out of my Voices 3 cup. All right, Dempsey, thanks for hanging out, and thank you for watching and everything. And on YouTube, Abby, you're watching. That's exciting. I haven't seen you in a while, so thank you for watching. All right, let's see, where am I on this list? 
Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know um, Molsky's Peg and Owl, but I should look that up. All right. Ah, the black is crow. So, all right, let's see. Got to rearrange my, my hair. Um, and, okay, so I think I'm going to go back to music from my from my album and I'll show you it one more time because I'm so excited about it. It's walking after midnight and also here we go. My so this is kind of a family project. My my sister did the the album art the front and the back. Um and my brother did the like all the technological aspects of it. He did like the the mixing and mastering and everything. And then, yeah, and then it's me playing on it. And I'm, and I'm very proud of it. I, I thought it was a very fun project to try and figure out how uh, making albums work and making an album works. It was very fun and um, a lot of work. <laughs> and um, I'm kind of, I'm proud of how it turned out. So I hope some of you will, will, uh, We'll listen to it. And yeah, this next one is from the album. It's, um, yeah, it's like a Bruce Molsky kind of tune. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's The Blackest Crow. And when the wind goes high and clear 
that's the blackest crow it's a really beautiful song uh you should everyone should listen to the bruce molsky uh version of that really good stuff all right let's see let's do a let's do a fiddle tune called wait ah okay i had to think of the joke first it's very important this one is called whiskey before breakfast because you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning go-to fiddle tune. All right, what's next? Oh yeah, how about... Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do a tune. I'm gonna sing another one. This one's also not recorded on my album, but it's really fun. I've been singing this song for a while. Um, this is one I do with my band, uh, Ghost Sugar, and... It's, I guess it's a Tim O'Brien tune. And also, yeah, my band has a few shows coming up. So one of them, we're playing, 
I guess, yeah, we're playing the tune and the joke. Yeah, uh, the, tune, the tunes always have to go with jokes. Very important. Um, okay. Man, I get distracted really easily. I need to work on that. But okay, so we have a show on this coming Friday, which is, I think, the 18th. We're playing at the Filler Up uh, in Parkton, Parkton, Maryland. And that'll we're playing from 5 to 8. Then on Sunday, like a week from today, we're going to be playing at Worley's Auction House, which is in um, Pennsylvania. I can't think of the place right now, but all these are on my website on alanisugar.weebly.com, and they're on my band's website, ghostsugarband.com, so you can find the info. And then... And then next month at some point, we're playing again at um, Spring Meadow Farms in in Upperco, Maryland. We played there like last week and it was, uh, yeah, last week. It was very, very fun, very nice place. So check it, check, uh, check us out on, on, we're on Facebook, Ghost Sugar. We're on Facebook and we have a website, ghostsugarband.com and YouTube channel and Facebook and it's a uh, fun music, lots of lots of fun stuff. All right, so, oh yeah, so I was gonna do Pretty Fair Maid. This is a song that I sing with with my band usually. Oh, 
fair maid. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, I was, okay. Let's see. Um, I think I'll do another one from, from my album. I'll probably cover all of the, all of the album tunes. It's like a, like a little mini album release party. You guys should buy my album. <laughs> if you like what you hear, basically it's the same thing. So I'll, I think I'll, I'll do this one. This this next tune is called is um let's see it was written by David Roth, who's a really excellent songwriter. I took a class a songwriting class from him uh, last summer at Online Common Ground on the Hill. It was very fun. Um, he's a very nice guy. Um, but this song is about a guy from. Uh, it takes place in, in Lincoln, Nebraska, and it's about this uh, Jewish man, basically, that, that moved to Lincoln, Nebraska, and was in the same neighborhood as a, as a KKK member. And basically, this is the story of how they became friends and, um, and learned to, to like each other and to, to accept each other as they were. And it, it's just based on a true story. It's a beautiful song, so if you if you kind of like it, you should go, uh, check out David Roth and check out his music because it's really incredible stuff. Okay, this is called "Dragon to Butterfly." It was early September in Lincoln, Nebraska. Two friends were conversing at dusk on the porch. One was all wrapped up in blankets and pillows, the other an old overcoat. Friendship was easy to witness between them, respect for each other, the tender exchange. The one in the coat softly spoke to the other, who struggled but managed to talk just the same. He said, do you remember the day we met, Michael? I heard you were coming and I called many times. I didn't want someone like you to move in here. I wasn't used to your kind. But instead of returning my ignorant curses, you just kept on answering the phone. And you knocked on my door with a bucket of chicken the first time you came to my home. The two men were laughing, now shaking their heads, with a sense of the passage about to take place. Larry, if someone had said we'd be friends, I'd have called them insane to their face. But you can't always tell what's inside of an apple. You can't always trust what you say. And Michael continued to wonder out loud after Larry had drifted to sleep. Now I'm in the mountains and walk and guitar, and the greatest of distances easily spanned when the strength that's invested in making a fist is transformed into shaping our brain. 
Michael helped Larry back into the house. And then Michael's wife truly helped Larry to bed. A lifelong diabetic and fine to a wheelchair. He couldn't do much for himself anymore. So they taken him in to unravel the pain. Now his father made fun of him planting the seed. In the root of the anger that grew so completely one strangled his heart like a wind. Larry's last breath in his bedroom at Michael's came later that night with his friend at his side. Thank you was all he could whisper for changing a dragon to a butterfly. For Larry was once a white knight, a grand dragon, with robes and with torches, with scorn and with hate. And Michael, the rabbi, who just moved to Lincoln with two open arms and with Thank you. That's Dragon to Butterfly. All right, let's see. I think I will conclude with one more tune. Um, this has been a very fun hour. Thanks for everyone who's been tuning in. I guess let me... Let me just like wrap it up before I play one, one last tune. Uh, I have a new album out, Walking After Midnight. Um, and if you if you uh, ha like what you have heard these, this past hour, then um, it, I would appreciate it if you listened to the album or purchased it. Um, and I also have a virtual tip jar, which you can find the details in the description. I think so. It says my um, my PayPal, which is my email, inalaviolin at gmail dot com. And what else? What else was it? Ah, oh, the Venmo, which was Alani Dash Sugar. And yeah. Oh, and Aunt Chrissy, you're going to the Phil Ruff. That's going to be exciting. That's going. It's going to be very good to see you. Okay. And. Um, yeah, yeah. My band is Ghost Sugar. Come see us at the Filler Up on Friday. Friday at 5, 5 to 8. And I'm going to end it off here with one more tune. And um, this is this is a, another one, another one of the instrumental uh, instrumentals from my album. And it's kind of, it's a medley. It's a set of two tunes, Greasy Coat and Cousin Sally Brown. Some old time tunes. Here we go. Thanks so much for watching.
All right. Thanks, everyone, so much for tuning in. And I'll see you soon. All right.